Hey guys, Detective Arizona here. A couple months ago, I got this air compressor from a mechanic. It was closed up shop. He never used it. He just used his oilless compressor. When he moved into that building, this air compressor was sitting there. And he said he plugged in once and it worked, but he never used it. So, and he said I could have it if I take it away. So that's what I did. I've been using it for two months. And uh, the other day, still got the oil on it. There you go. Still got oil on it. Um, a couple days ago, I left it running, and my dad came out and he said something was smoking out the electric motor. So took apart. Um, the windings don't look that bad. Like they're still good chunk of lacquer on them um bearing i don't know if you can hear that or not it's probably going to be replaced i'm probably going to i'm going to end up doing is just taking off the flywheel and then uh, replacing both bearings at the same time I already priced them out they're like 15 bucks for the bearings but i might be able to find some, them somewhere else um had two uh, capacitor banks. There's three 10 MFD capacitors right there, and then there's two in here. Not sure what they are. I really don't want to touch this right now. They're both side by side. And they're actually wired in together, which is kind of weird. So it's 30 plus whatever that is. So kind of weird I'm not sure how it's supposed to be wired but I'm going to wire it back the way it was um, the t two of the plugs were not wanting to come off I got one off but they're pretty old like I said this thing was still working they're wired in series let me see if I can flip one and get a date uh, 81 maybe and, uh, so we have three MFD capacitors wired up in series right here and then uh, do, 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 do. what else what else there's something else oh the plastic wheel that goes on this side I'm guessing it's like a counterbalance uh, this was a pain to get off it's plastic I'm gonna try to find a new one because as you can see it's kind of rotten and me and the Arizona heat you don't want to probably reuse this anyways it's probably dry rotten but that was fun getting off with the little tampering the special line I can't think what it's called um yeah I'm probably also going to buy a rebuild kit for the actual compressor part and Go from there because this thing's dirty hasn't ran i probably should have rebuilt it before i started using it but i need it for something so i just made sure the oil was good and ran it but uh if i rebuild it new air cleaner new gaskets everything seals probably gonna leave that how it is but probably gonna end up doing is taking both off and then repainting the whole thing because as you can see it's been three different colors in its life this thing's probably from the 70s and yeah, redo all this the pressure lines redo the pressure switch and yeah it, it has good air compression but it also leaks right there Rebuild kit. Um, this is a. Uh, let's take a look at this. A Gardner Denver made in USA 1A DA1 compressor. I'm sure we built kits out there. But yeah, that's my project for tonight. Just seeing what's going on. So I'll take this cover off. See what's 
going on under there. I'm sure nothing's going on in there because it's probably should have a gasket on there. But, um, but he said the smoke was coming out here. Uh, terminals don't look the best, but I don't see where they could have been smoking the insulation. Definitely worse for wear. But you know, like I said, I don't know. New pressure switch. I just eliminate that and redo it. Get a new one. But yeah, that's my project on the air compressor. Hopefully, give you an update in the next week or two or a couple weeks because it's the holidays. And we'll see. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.